Ever caught yourself wondering what types of cybercrimes exist? Well, let's unravel that mystery. Cybercrime, as the name suggests, is a crime that involves a computer and a network. It's not just about hacking into systems or stealing credit card information, although those are certainly part of it. Cybercrimes are offenses committed with a malicious intent to harm the reputation of the victim or cause physical or mental harm. This could be an individual, a group of individuals, or even an organization. In the era we're living in, the digital age, cybercrimes have become a growing and significant threat. From your personal data to corporate secrets, from your hard-earned money to your peace of mind, everything is at stake. But fear not, knowledge is power. By understanding the different types of cybercrimes, we can better protect ourselves and our digital assets. In this video, we will delve into the various types of cybercrimes that exist. Buckle up, it's going to be an enlightening ride. Imagine this, you're unable to access your files unless you pay a certain amount. Frustrating, isn't it? This is what we call a ransom attack. Now, let's delve into the details of ransom attacks. In essence, these attacks are a form of digital hostage taking. It's a grim game of cat and mouse where hackers encrypt the victim's data, rendering it inaccessible. Once they've got your files under lock and key, they'll demand ransom. The price? It varies, but it's always steep. The currency? Typically it's untraceable cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. The hacker's promise is simple. Pay the ransom and they'll provide the key to decrypt your data. But remember, these are criminals we're talking about. There's no honor among thieves and there's no guarantee you'll get your data back even after you've paid. But don't despair just yet. There are steps you can take to protect yourself. One of the most effective defenses against ransom attacks is regularly backing up your data. By keeping up-to-date copies of your files in a secure location, you can restore your system if it falls prey to a ransom attack. This way, you won't be left at the mercy of the hackers. In addition, employing a robust cybersecurity strategy that includes firewalls, antivirus software, and secure networks can significantly reduce the risk of a ransom attack. Ransom attacks can be devastating, but by taking the right precautions, you can protect yourself. In our digital world, fraud and money laundering have found a new playground. But what does this look like? Fraud, in the realm of cybercrime, takes on many forms. It often involves deception, manipulation, and trickery, all orchestrated with the intention of personal or financial gain. One prominent example is phishing, where cybercriminals masquerade as trustworthy entities to dupe unsuspecting individuals into revealing sensitive information. Another is online auction fraud, where the fraudster either fails to deliver the promised goods after payment or delivers something far from what was advertised. On the other hand, money laundering, a term that might sound straight out of a gritty crime drama, is very much a reality in our online world. In essence, it's the processing of ill-gotten gains through a seemingly legitimate business. It's a way for criminals to clean their dirty money, making it appear as though it was earned legally. This too is a form of deception, but on a grander, often more complex scale. Fraud and money laundering are not mutually exclusive. In fact, they often go hand in hand. A fraudster may launder the money obtained through their deceitful activities, further compounding their crimes. It's a vicious cycle, one that's difficult to break and even more challenging to detect. So, as we navigate this interconnected digital world of ours, let's keep our wits about us. Remember, if something online seems too good to be true, it probably is. The internet has given birth to a new form of harassment, cyber harassment. This is not your standard playground bully or office tormentor. This is a faceless, often nameless antagonist using the vast web of the internet to prey on individuals or groups, exploiting the anonymity it provides. Cyber harassment takes on many forms. It could be a relentless stream of threatening messages, the spread of harmful rumors, or even the public sharing of private information. It's a ruthless act that utilizes digital media as its weapon of choice, turning what should be a tool of connection and knowledge into a vehicle of fear and distress. The power of the internet has made it easier for these digital tormentors to reach their victims, but it has also given us the tools to fight back. It's crucial to remember that you have the right to feel safe online. If you're a victim of cyber harassment, it's important to report these instances to the relevant authorities. Social media platforms where much of this harassment takes place provide options for reporting abuse and setting privacy controls. These settings are your digital shields, and they can be adjusted to help protect your online space. Online harassment can be deeply distressing, but you don't have to face it alone. 
Reach out, report, and block. Remember, the internet is a shared space, and we all have a part to play in keeping it safe. So, we've taken a look at the dark underbelly of the digital world, a place where cyber criminals lurk, using ransom attacks to hold your data hostage, demanding payment to return what rightfully belongs to you. It's a terrifying prospect, the idea that one day you might wake up to find your files locked away, with the key held by someone you've never met. But that's not all we've uncovered. We've seen how fraud and money laundering have found a new home in the digital landscape. Con artists and criminals use the anonymity of the internet to trick unsuspecting users into parting with their hard-earned money. They set up false fronts, create fake products or services, and then disappear into the ether with your cash. And then there's harassment, an old problem that has taken on a new form in the age of social media. Cyberbullies and trolls use the internet as their playground, targeting individuals and spreading hate, all from the safety of their keyboards. The importance of being vigilant online cannot be overstated. It's crucial to keep your personal information secure, to be wary of suspicious emails or messages, and to always think twice before clicking on a link or downloading a file. The digital world is a powerful tool, but like any tool, it can be used for harm as well as good. Stay safe, stay vigilant, and remember, the digital world is a double-edged sword. Use it wisely.